What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you how to build a working Lego circular saw. So let's test it out and to do that we'll need to grab a piece of wood and position it in the front of the cutting area and then simply press the button on the back to activate the saw. And just like that we've split our plank in half and let's see that from another angle, this time in slow motion we can really see how the blade of the saw spins around as the arm moves downwards until it comes into contact with the wood and chops it in half with the force of the blade. And you can keep doing this as many times as you want, you just pull the saw blade back up and press the button at the back to activate it again. So this design makes use of a very special wind up motor brick attached to the saw and you'll see when we press that that's what activates this saw arm and brings the arm downwards. But in case you don't have that piece, I have made an alternative build that is made out of more simple pieces. And here's what that looks like. So very similar, except this time it's a hand crank design where you can simply use a handle on the back of the saw to bring the arm down and start sawing wherever you have in the cutting tray. So I'll show you how to build both versions of this working circular saw. So let's get started and take a look at what you're going to need to build it. Here are all the pieces you'll need to build your working circular saw if you're going to use the wind up motor and these are the pieces you'll need if you're going to build the hand cranked mechanism which I'll show you how to build afterwards. So we'll start by building the base of the buzz saw and this will use our 4x10 plate as well as two 1x4 plates with the studs on either end. Then build that up with two 1x2 plates, just the regular ones for now, as well as two 1x2 slotted plates facing outwards on this side. And you can finish that off with a couple of these 1x2 slope pieces. That will neaten it up and smooth this front section off, as well as a 1x2 tile. And I'll show you what this area is used for once we've built the rest of it. So then we can add some decoration with some 1x4 hazard striped tiles as well as a couple of these 1x3 tiles with the two studs in the middle or you can also use 1x2 jumper tiles in case you don't have these pieces. All this is is just to clip down this motor but we won't clip that down just yet. Let's finish up the floor with a couple more of these 1x2 slopes. They can just go one stud apart from each other as well as this 1x1 tile with the clip on the top facing this direction and from here you can add some further decoration with a little control panel just on top of this modified 1x1 plate with the bar. So that will give your minifigures a way to control the saw or at least see a little gauge which they can check. Next we can take this 1x2 bracket piece and attach a green and a red light, again for some detailing, and then clip that to either the wind up motor or the other bit, which I'll show you how to build just after this. Then finish that off with this large slope piece, and then we can start to build the actual saw itself. So this is nice and simple. Choose that 1x5 half lift arm, so that should be nice and loose with a half bush on this side. Then slide a 1x2 axle through here, and another half bush over on this side and then you can take this half large bevel gear and just slide that all the way through until that hits the end. So that should spin around very loosely and we can join all of this together with a Technic rubber band. So clip that over the edge and you'll see what's cool about this is if you're using the wind up motor you can simply push the button on the end and that will activate the saw. So let's move out of the way of that. There you go, you can see how the saw actually spins around if you don't have any obstructions in the way and that's what creates this really cool cutting effect. And what's super interesting is notice how the actual blade spins around as well. So if you keep the actual arm in place then the blade will spin around by itself. So a very cool mechanism. And then to finish this whole thing off you can just clip that in the middle of these 1x3 plates. And that is the actual saw mechanism complete. 
And before I explain how it works, let's build up the alternative option. So this will use a 2x4 plate and a 2x2 plate, as well as two 1x2 Technic bricks on this side, a regular 2x2 brick on the end, then another 2x2 plate, 2x4 plate, and a 2x2 to finish that off and make the same shape as that wind-up motor. Then you can use a 1x4 axle, as well as this Technic piece, to act as a handle. Then clip a 1x2 frictionless pin and this little topper piece. And that will give you somewhere to hold while you spin this around. So that's just a more simple, more basic option in case you don't already have that wind-up motor. But I'll leave a link to where you can get that wind-up motor in the description below because it is a very cool piece and I think it really enhances this build. So now let's explain how this actually functions. So you saw earlier how when you press the button the saw goes down, so that's pretty basic. But then to create this cutting the tile in half effect, we don't actually cut this 1x2 tile in half. All we have is a 1x2 tile and two 1x1s and then you can basically load the saw up with these 1x1 tiles which are hidden inside this slot underneath. So you can just load them in like that and you'll see that they are prepared, ready to be sprung out. You might want to just lift that up a bit so it's a bit loose. And notice how they're hidden from view when looking at this from a normal angle. And as you might have guessed, basically this 1x2 tile, when you slot it in there, that gets pushed out by the saw blade and that in turn pushes out the 1x2 tiles over at the end. And that's what creates this really awesome effect, which looks even better in slow motion. So I hope you enjoyed building this working LEGO circular saw, and if you did, then don't forget to let me know what you thought of this design in the comments section. Give this video a like, and subscribe to my channel so you always know when my latest videos are available. I've got a whole playlist full of how to build videos featuring all kinds of different functional minifigure scale machines and creations just like this working buzzsaw. So that's also very exciting and you can check that out in the link down below. And as always I want to give a big thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon for helping to make my videos possible. So if you want to see your name here in the credits, as well as get access to all of my Patreon exclusive bonus videos and behind the scenes content, then the link to join me on Patreon will be in the description below. And I'd really appreciate your support. I'll see you guys next time with more LEGO creations, and thanks for watching.